What's up guys, Coach Fred, Major Gains Fitness, and I want to talk on a subject that I'm passionate about. Today at the gym, I saw two 165 pound dudes, cut off shirts, kill a set, go up in the mirror, flex, take a photo, laugh about it, you know who I'm talking about, that guy. Now, your initial response is probably the exact opposite of my response. You see, when I see that stuff, I get amped, man, I get pumped, I get going, I want to kill my set because the person next to me regardless of their size or their status, is killing it so much that they're proud enough of their progress so much that they want to take a picture of it, send it to whoever, send it to their boys, their girlfriends, their, their people on Instagram, on Facebook. They want to show the world, look at me, I'm making progress. You know, I, I knew a guy that was about 165 pounds, and if I recall correctly, he was flexing the mirror because he just got a bicep peak he had never seen before. And he vaguely remembers two relatively large guys laughing at him and making fun of him for it. Now, actually, I got a photo of this guy. I'm, I'm going to put the photo up right now. That guy was me. Five years ago, I was the 165-pound guy that saw gains for the first time, flexed, got made fun of. Five weeks ago, I stepped on stage at the Washington State Open and got first place at 200 pounds on stage. So if you're that guy that's gonna make fun of everyone in the gym, regardless of their stature, because they're smaller than you, flexing in the mirror, I want, I want something to happen. I want you to remember this video. I want you to share with your friends and laugh like this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. But four years from now, there's gonna be somebody in their gym that you wanna look like, someone you wanna emulate, some 200, 210 pound dude, big, strong as shit, and you're going to tell yourself, one day I'm going to look like him. And then you're going to look to your left with your boys and see this 165-pound guy trying to sneak a photo in because, you know, he's embarrassed, but he likes his progress. And you're going to point and laugh at him. And that dude you're trying to look like is going to walk right past you and photobomb that guy's photo. He's going to laugh with him. And you're going to hear him say something like, hey, man, I saw your squat yesterday. It's a lot heavier than last month. Congrats. Or, hey, man. Your delts are coming out. Your chest is getting bigger. Good job. Keep it up. And for a second, for a split second, you're going to look at that dude you want to be like and think, damn, that's the guy I was making fun of five years ago. Where did I go wrong? And I'm going to be the first to tell you where you went wrong. For the past couple of years, you have spent all this time fueling your body and never once fueled your mind. And when you forget to fuel your mind, you forget to fuel your environment. Everyone knows if an environment does not promote growth, you will not grow. Now, you don't have to tell the world you're going to make a change. You don't have to confess your gym sins. You don't have to ask your boys in the gym permission to make a change. You just got to wake up now. Stop being an asshole. It's real simple. I understand it, man. If you were the first person in your group and everyone else is making fun of someone, you just wanted to fit in, you know, it happens. Everyone gets suckered into that. But you know right from wrong. If you change your perspective and see someone flexing and taking a photo, just think, hey, they're proud. They're proud of their progress. I want to be proud of my progress. Heck, I want to jump in that guy's photo too. Hey, you're killing it, bro. I'm killing it too. Let's take a photo together. Let's keep this photo as a reminder to where we once were and where we want to be. All it takes is a change of perspective. Be more positive in the gym. Be more positive of the gym patrons. And you will build an environment that will promote growth for you and everybody around you.